So uh, I'm going to show you a real quick uh, trick that I use on Illustrator on how to, when I create uh, characters. And this is using a brush on Illustrator and then I just like use the brush for different elements on a character. So let me show you real quick how it is. So guys, I, so I'm pretty sure that you should be able to listen, hear me now, right? God, I'm an idiot and I'm sorry about that. So hold on, let me share the screen with you guys real quick. Let me change this and now, okay, cool. So, so yeah, now you see this. Uh, so this is a, a character that I was deciding for, for a project on Facebook, on our Facebook group. And let me show you how this is. So first I designed the thing on, on an illustrator, just like very basic shapes, just, just like, let me ungroup this so you can see what's going on. It's just a square, a square with different uh, triangles here uh, and, and, and everything, right? Uh, the thing is this, this is a body. Let me remove this background. Uh, this is the body and then, uh, oh, this is a not, this is a not safe for work. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, the idea was like, how can I use this in a way that uh, uh, I can put in different positions and I can put it in different uh, 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 ways, uh, just like moving around. So what I did is like put all those elements uh, in different pieces. So this one is one piece, this is another piece, this is just like looking backwards. And then I separated also like the, the leg. Uh, and let me sit, check. Yes, so it's working now. Okay, cool. Just I was just wanted to check if the com uh, if the audio was good, and then I put different uh, elements for the face and the, the arm. So as you can see, if I move it here, you you you're gonna see that this is the arm, and this is the leg, right? So <clears throat> then, how how can I get it to do this kind of things? Well, it's pretty freaking easy, guys. Like instead of actually <laughs> drawing all of these elements and actually get in like that, I actually just use a brush. And let me show you how I do it. Let me remove this background, because it's kind of annoying. And let me show you, so for example, this guy, let me ungroup, I have everything grouped here. Uh, this guy is just a brush. So if you see here, let me uh, turn it, command Y. You see how there are only lines here? All these are different lines. And then once I, uh, I apply a brush to it, then it, like the body, it just like, it, it, it looks like it's flowing and the arm like takes the shape of it. So for example, here, let me just change it. What if I wanted to have, for it to have instead of, uh, <laughs> here is my brush panel, and instead of arms, I wanted to have legs. So now I can change the brush on the arms to legs. And now it has arms as arms, uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, legs as arms and uh, arms as legs and that's the legs look a little bit not safe for work too so cool so you get the idea right you have to select you you create a group for example here I created the body and then I made made it a brush so let me go ahead and actually create something real quick for you guys so I'm going to create uh, a little body too again using the same principles as before. I'm going to use the same colors, probably something like, sorry, this guy and this guy, and I'm going to make it around there, and then the rest is going to be a little bit rounded. Around there, just like a nice body there. And then let's, let's add a, a, a face to it. Just uh, let me add the eyes are like this probably around there, and then let me add a big mouth to it. There you go. So obviously, I'm, I'm not teaching you how to do this. This is, uh, I'll probably uh, have another uh, lecture on how to create uh, characters. Uh, here, I just want to show you the actual uh, uh, implementation of the brush. So I have it there. Probably I'm going to add a little bit of shading, so I'm going to make it a little bit like this. So, Man, there you go. Just around there, just add a little bit of shading. So I'm going to Command C, Command V, intersect these two guys, uh, and then this guy, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Just a little, a tad darker. There you go. So now it has a little bit of shading, and and now I'm going to create the, uh, the arms. Well, the arm is going to be really simple. 
let's uh, just create the arm just like this. And then, uh, oh man, the new Illustrator is kind of annoying, huh? It doesn't show you the uh, the freaking uh, uh, rounding points anymore, just like right away. It's just like, oh my god. Or I don't know if I'm just like getting used to using a, a sketch too much, and, and now I find it, oh my god. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now this is the hand, and let's uh, let's add some legs. And then the leg is going to be around there. Let's uh, make it this color. This this guy should be also this color. There you go. Let's add. Let's make the just like that too. Am I the only one that is having that problem? I press V, and then the little points disappear, and I cannot. <laughs> Oh my god, that's annoying. I have to press, if I press A, sorry, I press A, and now those points don't appear. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's not how it used to be uh, in, a, in a previous version. But okay, enough. That's end of a rant. And then, oh man, I keep doing it. Okay, just like that. Let's make a little boots. Let's make it the same, same uh, uh, color as the eyes. And then let's remove this, and then same color. There you go. Now we have some shoes. <laughs> it's obviously not that great. I'm pretty sure you can do better. The idea is there, just like uh, some uh, a leg. So now we have a leg. We have a body with a face. So let's make this all these elements. I'm going to turn them into brushes. So I'm going to select the body. Yeah, the body right there. You actually, you know what? I want to add a little bit of 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 light. Just, just a little bit. I know, I'm annoying. I just keep adding stuff. They're like, come on, just show us the brush, Pablo. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to do it real quick, just so it has a little bit of shiny. Just shines. There you go, it's pretty. Look at that pea buddy. Okay, cool, so now I group this guy, and then I'm going to go to my brush panel, just like uh, you go to window uh, and brushes. Or if you have it over here like me, you're going to see it here. And then I'm going to just create a new brush here on, the, on this guy. So just create a new brush and then and all these elements, uh, for, sorry, the, all these options, you're going to select Art Brush. Art Brush, now that I have it, now you have this, uh, this automatically detects the direction. Just like it does a really good job of detecting automatically what the direction uh, you probably want to have. So I want this to have this direction from top to bottom. I'm going to call it P buddy. And then here, uh, the brush scale options, you want it to be uh, depending on what you're doing. On this one, I'm going to keep it as a default, the stretch to fit. So it will just stretch. You know what? Actually, no. I'm going to make it stretch between the guides. And that means that it will stretch everything uh, that is between the guides. And since I don't want the face to move too much, uh, I'm going to make the start, uh, I'm going to make it start around probably 200. So it starts around the below the face. That way the the top of the head doesn't get affected like that, and then I'm going to give the end around there, that way the shadow doesn't get affected. And that way, the only thing that gets stretched is this part. You're going to see what I'm, what I'm saying in a mo moment. So, wow, now I created a brush, my brush is over here, and let's try it out real quick. So I'm going to press the B as for, the, for the brush, and I'm going to draw something quick, and boom, there you go. You see how uh, my body is following the brush? <laughs> it's just like, and now the pad, whatever I want to do with the pad, it just like it will. <laughs> well, obviously, you don't want it to be like that. But anyway, you just like start creating crap with it, and then it will. <laughs> it would just like do fun stuff with it. See how the the brush is just like a follow. Your body is following the brush, and it just adapts. So that way, you don't have to draw all of these elements. You just create a brush, and then you have your body flowy and moving, and it's pretty cool. It, so now let's do. Uh, Let's do the arms and the legs. So I have an arm. I'm going to create a new, uh, sorry, the leg. And I'm going to create a new art brush for the leg. There you go. I'm going to do the same as before, where it's a uh, stretch between the guides. And I'm going to move it a little bit. Probably I, sh <laughs> I should have just put 400. Uh, 400. Come on. Okay. 
Apparently that's my limit. Damn. Oh, I see what's going on. So it should be 200. There you go, around there. And then also my start, I don't want... There you go, around there. So now everything in between here will stretch. Now I press OK. Let's do the arm real quick. I'm going to create a new one. Art brush. I'm going to call it arm. Arm Peabody. And then uh, stretch between the guides. Just I want to keep my uh, my hand the same size. And I'm going to do the same here. And now there you go. So now I have everything ready to start doing arms. So let's draw an arm, just like saying hi. It's probably not <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Sometimes you want to uh, draw the left and the right hand uh, arm. Sorry, and the same with the with the legs. So now I have my legs. The legs obviously I want to s select the different uh, um, brush, and now I have that. So look at that. That's pretty cool, right? So you just created the base, your template of your uh, of your character, and then you just start uh, drawing your character with your new brushes. That's pretty cool. Oh my god! So I'm going to do something real quick, just like this. So it's <laughs> uh, there. You go. Uh, obviously, I'm just using my uh, my mouse track, my trackpad. Sorry. Uh, so it's not that green. <laughs> wow, it looks like Halloween here. Uh, oh man, why is it? Oh man, it doesn't give me. I don't know what's going on with my. There you go. There you go. I'm going to remove this guy, it's just to make the this thing a little bit simpler. There you go. And now I'm going to to draw the arms. <laughs> it has <laughs> heads as arms. There you go. I'm going to select the arm. Come on, dude. There you go. And now a little bit of legs. It's jumping. Just being really jumpy. There you go. So obviously you 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 get the idea. Make your own. I think you're gonna love this. Uh, I'm going to put this behind. And you can start creating really cool effects. Let me see if you guys have any questions. We're going to watch this this video missed the first 10 minutes yeah so the first 10 minutes it's me just uh <laughs> having uh technical problems so you didn't miss much and yes everything here every live stream is actually saved as a video so you have access to uh, later to it so yeah so yeah so that's cool uh if do you guys have any questions i'm going to be here uh putting some music while the questions arrive do you like my my, my new song? Thank you.